We got a brand new biscuit and topping guide for a brand new cookie here, matcha cookie, in today's episode. Thank you for tuning in as always, and if you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe and other great ways to support down below, and thank you to all of our members as always. A couple things here about matcha cookie. Now, you'll find the timestamps down below where we will break this cookie out for you. We'll also give you the biscuits and toppings of choice, as we always do with our recommendations, tips, and tricks, and go for a run with this cookie. Now, if you do have a question or comment along the way, let let me know because I love to hear from you and feel free to join us in our amazing active discord server, my friends. All right. So today is all about the matcha cookie and this topping guide here to set you up for success with this brand new cookie with the release of the Elder Fairy update um, in Cookie Run Kingdom. A couple things about matcha cookie. First and foremost, this is a magic cookie. It's also a middle lane cookie. The move set that you're going to find on this one is Sinister Scheme. Yes, this thing's got a 12 second cooldown. Matcha cookie summons tea seeds at the enemy's location and causes an explosion. The tea seeds poison enemies, amplify debuff effects, and increase the duration of poison type periodic damage inflicted by the team. At times, Matcha Malice may manifest from a tea seed, shackling a random enemy, dealing damage, cursing them, and applying healing and amplifying damage debuffs. Now, Matcha Malice is even applied uh, to cookies who are resistant to interrupting effects. So there you go. Matcha, um, at the end of the skill's duration, Matcha Malice will deal explosion damage and apply silence. The chance of Matcha Malice's appearance will increase with more debuffs applied to Matcha Cookie. Um, while Matcha Cookie is using her skills, she will briefly become resistant to interrupting effects. So T Seed Poisoning, 45% of damage every one uh, second for 10 seconds there. Um, applied debuffs plus 10% for 10 seconds stacks up to three times. Poison type periodic damage duration plus 40% for 15 seconds stacks up to one time. Matcha Malice chance plus 10% uh, plus 2% for every debuff chance capped at 100%. Um, Matcha Malice poison damage 256% every 0.1 second and shackles for five seconds. Matcha Malice debuff, amplify damage plus 22% and curse for five seconds and Matcha Malice explosions, 500% of damage, silence 10 seconds. Ridiculous, ridiculous, my friends. So lots of things here with this particular cookie. Um, lots of damage, great near poison teams, elemental types, and on top of that, that silence is crazy. So a couple ways to think about this one and we're gonna talk about it here in a second. However, first and foremost, let's equip this cookie for everything that we need to do. So a couple ways to do that is certainly you can use your items here like these, the experience star jellies. Um, however, we'll max out because we got plenty of jelly jam. You can check our guides out here on the channel on how to do that and I'll have that attached um, down below in the description for you as well. So let's go ahead and level up um, because that is exactly what we're gonna do here um, and get at it with the new toppings um, so we can actually apply them. And then additionally, obviously feel free to upgrade. I do like to do um, a good chunk of these. A lot of times they'll get raised to the 60, 70 mark, um, but I like to obviously apply some. We'll go here because this is gonna make a difference for us when we do our runs. Um, and so you can see how much better it gets as well. So there we go, Sinister Scheme. A lot more damage there as you can now see in terms of what we have going on. 75% um, for every one second, etc. So, oh, there we go. Where'd you go, Macho? We lost you, Macho Cookie. Um, so those are all key pieces to this cookie and how you level it up, those kinds of things as well. We gotta go find you, where'd you go? You disappeared on me, Macho, there you are. Um, first and foremost though, let's talk about the biscuit. Now there's a dual prong strategy, always when it comes to the biscuits and toppings, we'll talk through some of those things um, for your considerations. First and foremost, you definitely wanna put a biscuit on this cookie. So let's go ahead and we're gonna snag our Frost Queens one here and we're gonna equip it. Boom, let's go ahead and do that. Now, a couple things, legendary zesty biscuit first and foremost. Second, you can always attune to make these things better. Um, you can reset all those fun things. Um, we're gonna leave it as is for us today. And then obviously leveling up, getting this to the max is gonna make a huge difference to you. Um, like this one here, level 20, attack 20%. HP 25%, which certainly can be a part of your strategy as you 
to your biscuits and toppings. Couple things about this in terms of the sub stats and bonus effects that are really gonna matter. Um, you're gonna wanna think about it in two ways. One, more so increased damage um, or spamming effects. So primarily what we're gonna focus on here is either attack, damage resist, bypass, um, and cooldown. This is really, really gonna help this cookie in terms of making this thing an absolute powerhouse. My recommendation when it comes to matcha cookies biscuits though, is to focus on damage resist bypass to keep all that damage dealing up, 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 up. And then you're gonna have the blend between attack and HP here um, in terms of more survivability, more damage on the attack side that you can balance out on your specific toppings and strategy. And we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, so those are gonna be your priorities, attack, damage, resist. Um, and then obviously, again, <clears throat> excuse me, a cooldown. If you do want a little bit more survivability on this cookie, because it's probably gonna be pretty squishy, HP, defense, damage, resist, particularly damage, resist, is really, really gonna help um, in terms of those pieces. Um, so those are the things that I would focus on for this particular cookie and this particular biscuit in order to be successful, max damage, amplify that damage, and get in and hit hard and hit home. And in particular with your PVP and PVE teams, this cookie is gonna help accelerate, again, a lot of those other poison effects um, that we talked about before. So certainly a great one to think about for your Alliance team and that poison build um, as an example. So I wanted to give you that other tip and trick there. Now let's go ahead and transition to toppings. Here in terms of the toppings, obviously resonant when it makes sense. We don't have resonant toppings for this particular one. Um, a couple things that I would certainly do here, we're gonna go to our multiple upgrade and we're gonna focus on attack. I definitely want a ton, a ton of damage here with this particular cookie. So we're gonna go with five Searing Raspberry. Um, and that is my recommendation for you as well. Um, the other one that you can consider is certainly cooldown with the chocolate um, and just continue to spam, spam, spam. Not only do you have the increased chance of hitting um, on your, well, not necessarily increased chance of hitting, um, and, and when I say that, let's go back here so you understand what I'm saying. Um, increased chance of the malice, essentially, was what we're looking for. Malice explosion right there, malice. The more times that you spam this, the more times that you get it off, um, the opportunity to get it is going to be greater, even outside the fact of the stacks on the debuffs on you, increasing your chance of hitting malice. So that is another strategy that you can consider. However, we're purely focused on attack um, for this one in terms of how we want to round out our team. Um, so let's get back here and we're going to go with our five right here. Let's equip this one. Um, let's go ahead and grab that one. Um, we're gonna go with uh, this one. And last but not least, we'll grab this one. Um, so a couple of considerations. Oop, we need one more, there we go. A couple of considerations when it comes to these particular toppings. Again, um, we are going on the epic uh, Searing Raspberry here um, for the additional 5% on the attack. Our attack's at 50%, which is a ton and awesome. Um, However, a couple considerations um, with these substats that are gonna matter. Again, you can focus in on attack or get some more cooldown in there. So this would be the good opportunity to blend some of those things out, um, increase that cooldown spam ability of these things. Um, again, if your cooldown's already very high because of all the other stuff going on, um, certainly that attack focus would be nice. Additional substats here, damage resist for squish ability, survivability is gonna be key. Additionally, HP can be very key. If you wanna go down the crit path, you can do that. Um, resistance. Um, defense, all those other things are things to think about in terms of tier one, tier two, and some of these bonus effects. When we look at ours, I was trying to prioritize a little bit more of the attack and cooldown as we saw there. So there's more attack, more attack speed, HP, survivability, survivability, um, and then additionally cooldown um, there for me. Now, a couple of things as always, in case we do get resonant for this one, um, you can always blend. Uh, as well. So you can think about that, some resonant toppings, those things. And I know some players do like to blend um, other things with, so you could also blend in some of the cooldown. Uh, however, I'm recommending, again, the Raspberry set for pure raw damage um, and, again, versatility, um, whether PvP or PvE, and depending on the cookies um, that you have with this one. Certainly, you can always build out some of those other two and threes um, 
in order to fit the need of what you need to do with matcha cookie here. Um, so that is our biscuits. That is our toppings. Let's go for a run with matcha cookie here um, as we like to do. And we will certainly go into um, hard mode here. 829 is the one we do like to run. Um, as always with our boss. So let's get into it here because we like to take down the Labyrinth Tactician. Um, and here we go. If you've seen our White Lily uh, Beast and Topping Guide, you can absolutely do that. Um, in the meantime, though, down below, we will have all the other topping guides available to you um, in our playlist. You can check that out. Um, I think that's certainly helpful for you, and we always recommend those things um, as well. And like I said, the Experience Guide um, as well. All right, here we go. 260 versus 260. We'll see how this goes with matcha cookie, my friends. Um, and you'll certainly see here the first kickoff is 3% for three second cooldown. Here is the poison damage effects. We're down to an eight second cooldown um, for mine. So we were able to knock off four seconds. Um, certainly getting more of that in there. This cookie is a little squishy, as you can see. Um, we don't have healing going on. We could throw in a uh, snapdragon here if we needed to. It's going to be real close to see if we get through with this particular cookie. Um, but I'm looking forward to trying to make it happen for you here today. Lots of periodic damage, as you can see, um, to help you get through. We're going to be on the final guy right here. Oop, not, not yet. One more. This could be a problem for us. Can we survive the nail biter for us here today? Let's see what we got. There we go. Against the big boss, we need the stuff to hit. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, it's gonna be so close. <laughs> oh, we did it. Probably the closest one that we've done here. Um, super fun nonetheless. You can see kind of how all that stuff popped off, deals the damage over time, um, and really has that area effect against your opponents there so that my friends is matcha cookie for you um in their finest um let's pull it all back together for you in today's topping and biscuit guide uh, because we certainly had a lot of fun um, with this particular cookie um, today. So with that, again, this is Matcha Cookie from the latest and greatest update with the Elder Fairy one here um, on Cookie Run Kingdom. We gave you the breakdown of this cookie, the magic, the middle laner. Um, we talked about and gave you our recommendations for the biscuits and toppings and all the drill down, all the fun stuff there, um, considerations that you can make in terms of the strategy and objectives of your particular Matcha Cookie, um, and obviously broke down this really, really cool center scheme now if you still continue to have questions or comments let me know because i'd love to hear from you and feel free to join us in the discord server my friends and with that thank you thank you for tuning in today um i appreciate your support thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community here um, on cookie run kingdom and with that thank you to all of our members we do have memberships available to you it's a nice way to support the channel priority response emotes icons a bunch of other cool things with that as well so check it out and our affiliate links all nice ways to support the channel um lastly don't forget to at me chat me with all of our socials which builds do you like what are you running which teams all that fun stuff with magic cookie um and would love to see you in the discord server with that my friends, that concludes today's episode, Biscuit and Topping Guide for you here on Matcha Cookie. With that, we'll see you out there. Keep on running, and I'm a little fearful of this one, so take care.